I decided to join the working group because I wanted to use my voice to advance women's rights and gender equality. Because of the honor of being part of one of the international mechanisms for the protection of women's and girls' human rights. I've always had a deep commitment to women's rights and I think when I decided to join um, it was at a time when we're starting to see some pushback. So I desperately wanted to be part of global systems change. I saw it as an opportunity to engage more globally and to influence policies at, at global level and to uh, get to know women and girls from different corners of the world and, and do my part. I thought it was important for me also to leverage uh, the potential of the mandate to advance the gender equality agenda at the global level. I think what motivates me the most is seeing what women and girls and the organizations on the ground are doing themselves. Women and girls, despite all the odds, are courageous, they engage, they continue struggling, they don't lose hope. So we can't lose hope either. I think what motivates me is the fact that every day in this role you get to work with people who care about creating a more gender equal world. When we go out and we connect with um, civil society organisations, with women's rights defenders and others, that energy is absolutely um, infectious and it energises me to keep on keeping on. So it's the relentless pursuit of ordinary people creating change and I'm absolutely inspired by that. For me, um, the resilience of women human rights defenders who work tirelessly and fearlessly, the change they drive and catalyze at many levels gives me hope and energy. Continued existence of discrimination against women and girls in law, policy and practice is really the fuel that keeps me going and I know keeps a lot of women like me who are working to end discrimination against women going. I feel like it is my duty, I have to do my part in, in trying to co-create more just societies. It's been amazing. I think for a human rights lawyer, it is such an honor and a responsibility to be in this kind of position where you have access to a whole range of member states, civil society, different actors, including women themselves. The main highlight for me has been the learning um, that I've had from the interactions with women and girls all across the world. The most uh, interesting for me was uh, engaging with girl human rights defenders. Uh, the opportunity uh, to also create the space for them and to integrate and amplify their voices in our work. I think most meaningful uh, and most touchy to me were moments uh, with the women and girls themselves such as in country visits, in Romania, in Roma villages, or in Honduras. Uh, Afghanistan was my first country visit. Obviously uh, very challenging because of the very grave situation of women and girls in the country. But at the same time, again, an inspiration to see what the women and girls are doing there. As someone there put it, there are different rocks on top of them blocking their actions and their rights and their freedoms but they are the water under the rocks and they are able to not only survive but continue working, continue fighting and feeling their strength feed us uh, was a huge uh, highlight. In one word I would say dignity. Oneness. Equal. Justice. Justice. <laughs>